This is Danny Gould selling Silicon Valley. We've scoured the entire Silicon Valley for the best restaurants and are here today at Santana Row where the fine dining options are quite possibly endless. Now, the Bay Area is known for its eclectic cuisine, but how often have you heard of Singaporean cuisine? Because that's exactly what we have here today at Straits Restaurant where the upscale environment can only be surpassed by the bold flavors of its foods. Well, let's go inside and check this place out. everyone here with Julian Yell, the owner here at Straits. I've been in the restaurant industry my whole life. You know, my family started this company in 1987. We've been in continuous operations since then. It started in San Francisco. Saw a lot of opportunity in San Jose and kind of just took the leap over here and it just became the flagship restaurant. In 1987, we opened up a really small shop, maybe about like a 10 seater restaurant, really small. From there, we just hopped over to a bigger size restaurant, maybe like a 60 seater, and then it just kept getting bigger. We moved from San Francisco to Palo Alto, and then finally we made it to San Jose. Wow. We run a multiple of different concepts, and we're always opening up new concepts. Uh, we also own our sister restaurant down the street, Sino. It's a contemporary Chinese cuisine. Right now, we have just the two, and then we're opening one more in San Francisco. We were, I believe, we might have been the first restaurants up here. There weren't too many other restaurants when we opened up. I believe that to be true, yeah, because yeah, I've been here since I, the beginning. Uh, yeah, I okay. think there was only maybe Pizza Antica okay. here. It's been so long. Yeah. 2003 has been a long time ago. So the, the restaurant that started in San Francisco, mm -hmm. who started it? Uh, that was my dad, Chris Joe. He's from Singapore, right? And there's no Singapore restaurants in the Bay Area, especially in 1987, right? right? So he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna open my own restaurant with my own food. And he did it. And it just kind of kept going after that. Uh, we opened a restaurants in Atlanta and then Houston, LA. And then as the restaurants got bigger and bigger, just kept coming up with new stuff and new stuff and then tweaking the flavors a little bit. I mean, the items are traditional, but they are tailored to the modern diner. Really bold flavors. Uh, all the dishes here are family style, share plates. We are a Southeast Asian restaurant. We focus on that region of cuisine. So the flavors are very bold, lots of curries, lots of sweet flavors, sour flavors, savory flavors. Um, everything's meant to be shared. Uh, so that's where our apps really shine, because those are really great for sharing. We do focus on our lounge a lot. Our lounge is a very vibrant part of our restaurant, along with the music and the atmosphere here. Keep that ambiance level really high here. Our signature cocktail is our lychee martini. It gets ordered quite a lot. Ladies love it, guys love it, everyone loves it. These are our chicken lollipops. Uh, we French the tips and then they're glazed in a sambal chili sauce. These right here are our Singaporean satay sticks. This is a really traditional one where you got our modern style take on things and our more traditional style stuff. All right, so this is actually one of my favorite dishes. Every summer I used to go to Singapore with my family and um, this is one of the very uniquely Singaporean noodle soup dishes out there. It's called laksa. It's a coconut curry and seafood uh, noodle soup. The issue with most peanut sauces is that they're too heavy on the peanut. Mm -hmm. They're like too creamy. What I like about that is that the tamarind like cuts the peanut. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have another one. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna join you. Please, please. If you like fried chicken at all, this is like candied fried chicken. I mean, it's it's so good. It's so good. Like the, the, the sauce is very tangy, it's sweet, and it's, it's delicious. It's very delicious. So this is the one I was saying about really bold, robust flavors. Oh wow, that's like intense, but in a good way. Yeah, all right. Not not in the spicy way. Definitely crazy umami. Um, the base is made from seafood, so that's where that umami is coming from. Oh my God. The coconut mixed with the seafood—it's just a very eclectic kind of combination, right? Not something that you find every day. No, definitely. This is very unique to us. This is very traditional. This is actually only found in Singapore. And if you're not familiar, like Singapore is like an island, so literally this is like the only place to find it. If you love seafood, 
and you love coconut, or even if you don't like coconut that much, but you like spicy, this is really good. Well, I know that you have a lot more for me to try, so I'm afraid to like dig in on any <laughs> one thing until we're like totally finished. <laughs> All right. What should I start with? Let's just go down the line. Let's, um, okay. This is kind of our take on a Vietnamese grilled beef salad with a Vietnamese vinaigrette, um, marinated lemongrass steak, and then we have um, watermelons and cucumbers. The citrus complements the steak very nicely in a way that you wouldn't expect. Our uh, Singapore slang. This is one of the few drinks invented in Singapore. Whoa. <laughs> So what I'm tasting there is the gin. Mm -hmm. That is for sure what I'm, whoa, put that one out. <laughs> Reminds me of college, <laughs> in a good way. This here is a nasi lemak. They have it in Singapore, Malaysia, and Indonesia. It's a mixed plate, basically. It's almost like a lunch and dinner specific thing. Mm -hmm. We have our pan-seared salmon, deep fried egg. This is actually a really unique kind of thing towards the area. Pawn crackers, sambal chili. This is one we make in house and we bottle it as well. Fried peanuts and some pickles. And the rice is uh, one of our signature rices. It's uh, coconut rice. The way to eat this one is you grab a little bit of the sambal, yeah, dab it a little bit of it on either the rice or the egg. Pick, choose which protein you want to go for. So can you sub out other proteins for that? Uh, yes, we do one. Uh, there's two options. One is a fish option and one is a beef option. The beef option is a curry. Put it right on top of the egg, split it down the center. Mix the yolk with the egg right there. Yeah, there you go. A lot of things on this dish is about mixing the textures together. The thing about all these dishes is that the flavors are very rich. This is very good. This is very good. Nice. I love it. I'm gonna have another bite. Oh, there you go. Right? Like I said, there's no wrong way. You just gotta keep it going. Oh yeah. That's the money. That is the lychee martini. So it goes in this uh, vodka, I'm assuming it's a vodka. Vodka, place. lychee liqueur, lychee juice, and lychees as well. I love lychee boba. This is this is like that, but with a little little kick. This one, this is our last dish, this is the Hainanese chicken rice. So it sounds very simple, but it's actually super complex. This is actually one of Anthony Bourdain's favorite dishes. So this is our sweet soy. This one kind of drizzles over the rice. Nice. And then you go with the next sauce. This is our house chili. And then finally is our comfy ginger sauce. And we'll just put a little dollop on the side and let you kind of go for that as you will. You just kind of want to incorporate as much of the different flavors in it as possible. Is that brown rice? No, that's our chicken rice actually. It's the jasmine rice that uh, we cook it with uh, a lot of uh, aromatics and some uh, chicken. Super flavorful. Yeah. It's super flavorful. The rice is very good, man. And not only that, but then the combination of flavors. I mean, the chicken is, I mean, it's very moist, right? But the star of the dish are the sauces. Yeah, definitely. Right? That is our straight old fashioned. And uh, again, you gotta go revert back to Dan for that one again. It's not too sweet. You know, a lot of old fashions, the issue is, it's like you, you take a sip or two and it just it gets too sweet, but that's very nice. And you got the Luxardo cherry there, which is crucial. I have more houses to sell after this, man. I can't get... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. There's always tomorrow. Truthfully, I'd never eaten here at Straits before, before you got, before we uh, got in touch, but I will definitely be coming back here again. And I'm not just saying that for the camera. Truthfully, this is uh, some of the better uh, cuisine that I've had here on the road. So thank you so much for having me, man. Nice. I really appreciate it. And uh, you guys are, are into some some really bold flavors, some authentic flavors, and, and down for a really nice ambiance. Come to Straits Restaurant here at Santana Row. This is Danny Gould, Julian Yo, with the Straits Group. We're selling Silicon Valley. We'll catch all of you in the next video.